In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CuSO4, magnesium plus copper 2 sulfate. This is a single displacement reaction. The magnesium pushes the copper out, it's by itself, and then the magnesium and the sulfate, they've bonded together. So first thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This equation is already balanced, so that's nice. Next, we write the state for each substance. We know magnesium, that's a metal. Sulfates in general are soluble. Copper sulfate certainly is soluble, so that's going to be aqueous. It's a strong electrolyte, and it'll dissociate into its ions. Copper is a metal, and then again, sulfates and magnesium sulfate, very soluble. So we know the states. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we won't split magnesium, it's just magnesium. So we'll write MgS, I'll write the states at the end. Copper, we don't know the charge on copper, it's a transition metal, but we do know the sulfate, SO4. This whole ion is always two minus, so the copper has to be two plus. That's why we called it copper two sulfate. So we have our copper two ion, plus we have the sulfate ion, SO4 two minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have copper, Cu, and then magnesium sulfate. Magnesium's in group 2, 2 plus, and then we said the sulfate, 2 minus. So we have the magnesium ion and then the sulfate ion. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. As I look for something that's the same in the reactants and the products, the only thing I see is this sulfate ion here. So I'm going to cross that out, and that'll leave us with our net ionic equation for Mg plus CuSO4. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus copper 2 sulfate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus on this side, a 2 plus on this side, as well as mass. We have a magnesium atom, magnesium, copper, copper. So mass is balanced as well. That's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus CuSO4. And this is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.